What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, Arizona Coyotes sending Anthony Duclair to the AHL. Um, move that, I think, is warranted. I mean, he's been awful in this season, uh, in his second full year in the NHL. And I'm a huge Duclair guy. You guys all know that. I uh, love him, love what Domi's done. But, you know, they need more productivity from him in that role. And obviously, Arizona's a dumpster fire we've seen this season. But, you know, you're you picking up what I'm putting down here. You know, I just wish, uh, you know, he was able to, to show this year what he showed last year. Because maybe Arizona wouldn't be so bad. Um, but, you know, I think in AHL assignments, what's best for him right now, he goes down there, you know, lights it up. God willing, knock on wood. Or this is granite, but whatever, same thing. Not really, but you catch my drift. Um, and then, you know, comes back with their new sense of confidence. I think that's what's best for him. And I think... Um, you know, it's one of those situations you just got to, uh, I just hope he's, he's able to, to come out of it and be, you know, uh, as productive as he was last year, you know, when he when he gets back up. Because he was an excellent rookie to watch all last season, and, uh, you know, hopefully he uh, continues to develop and, you know, get a big NHL sign for him. It's not the end of the world. And by the way, Arizona's youth this season has been disappointing. I mean, um, you know, Dylan Strong's back in junior I know Chickering's kind of been the surprise, but, you know, whatever. Um, Duclair struggles. Domi's been hurt. You know, no productivity out of Lawson Krause. But Brendan Perlini, quietly, very, very productive. Go figure. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.